Thank you for shopping on Amazon, have a good day ma'am. Pick up Krista from Franklin Street in 10 minutes. It's time to switch. Hey driver, how long it's gonna take? Just one minute ma'am. Just one minute. Order 69. Order 70. Order 71. I want a cheese macaroni extravaganza large pizza. Yes sir, in a moment. Come on Wojak, be fast. Thank you sir, visit us again. You must be wondering, why the fuck am I doing all these jobs at once? Well, because. Wojak, I wanted to discuss about your mother's upcoming surgery with you. It's a crucial procedure, and we need to make sure everything is in order. Yes, doctor. How's she doing right now? She is stable for now, but the surgery needs to happen soon to prevent any complications. It's a complex procedure, but we have a good team ready to take care of her. I understand. I am just worried about the cost. I have a job that underpays me, and I am struggling to make ends meet. Well, how much are we talking about for the surgery? The total cost for the surgery including pre- and post-operative care is estimated to be around $50,000 only. 50 grand? That's so much more than I have. Is there any way to reduce the cost? Yes, we do have financial assistance programs and charity funds that can help cover part of the expenses. Okay, thank you doctor, I will apply for it. Hope, I can get some additional help from these programs. I wish I could do more, I feel so hopeless. We will find a way dad, we have to, mom needs us. We need to stay strong. We will get through this together. I will do everything I can, I just want my mom to get the best care possible. I don't think I can make it guys. Huh? What? Why not? You have been as excited as we are. My mom is in hospital. She needs surgery and it's really expensive. I can't afford to spend money on vacation right now. Whoa. I am so sorry to hear that. How serious is it? It's pretty serious. The doctor says she needs the surgery soon, or her condition could worsen. I have been trying to save up, but it is nowhere near enough. That's tough Wojak. We had no idea, why didn't you tell us sooner? I didn't want to burden you with my problems. Shut up. Put that burden in your ass. We are your friends. If you need help, you have to let us know. We can figure something out together. <coughs> yeah forget about the vacation, your mom's health is more important. And we are going to start a fundraise, reach out to people. And we will do whatever to raise money for the surgery. You guys are my true friends. Alright. This is it. Every bit counts. Hey big bro. Can I come in? Yeah, come in Wanda. I wanted to check in on you. How's everything going? It's been tough, but I am managing. I just cancelled all my subscriptions. It's not much but, 
Every bit helps with my mom's medical bills. Yes, I agree with you big brother. All right, the rent is $1,700, utilities are $500, groceries are $500, and that's $2,700 already. Phone bill $140, transportation $1,000, insurance $1,500. Total is $5,340. How am I supposed to save at this rate? Medical expenses are around $50,000. Even if I save a couple of hundred a month, it's not going to be enough. I have cancelled all of my subscriptions Netflix, Hulu, and Spotify. No more eating out or buying anything useless. What else can I do? It's not enough. It's never enough. I have to find another way, maybe a second job? Or should I sell some of my things? I have to do something ASAP. I can't give up. Mom needs me. I will figure this out, for mom. The next day. Get up Wojak, it's time to start the hustle. Back in the head, yeah. Tell them to watch it. Nah, I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that shit on. Then she took that thing off and bring it around. Going at it till I'm on. Put that nani in a hole. I'm beating it down. I'm back in that bag again. Oh, whoa. Oh, say less. I'm back in that bag again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, say less. I'm back in that. Yeah. What you doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm back in that. Hey, where you going? Hey, hey, back in that bag again. Don't bring me around your friends. You know I must work my ass off and put in extra hours. It's time to sleep so that I can grind more tomorrow. Get up, Wojak. It's time to start the hustle. One week later. Finally, I got this month's salary. Boss, I am coming. Boss, I need to talk. What is it, Wojak? We need to talk about my paycheck. It's not enough. Huh? How so? Because I have been putting in extra hours, doing more than my share. Shut up. Everyone is stretched thin, Wojak. We all have to make sacrifices. Sacrifices? I can't even cover my rent with this. At least you are lucky to have a job at all. Yeah, but... Enough of your nonsense, do you want me to fire you? Bye, have a great time! Do you want me to fire you? Do you want me to fire you? Do you want me to fire you? When inflation and unemployment rates are rapidly rising, and we don't have time left to search for a new job. Then, 
We have to survive with this shitty underpaying job to support our family. <laughs> One more drink and I will call it a night. Are you okay Wajak? You have been pretty down tonight. Just a lot in my mind. Life's been hitting hard lately. Yeah, I hear that. Wanna talk about it? Not much to say, it's just that I work so damn hard you know? And for what? Barely enough to get by. And now my mum is in the hospital and I can't even afford her surgery. <sighs> That's tough man. I am sorry to hear that. You are doing everything you can, right? Yeah but, it's not enough. I cut all my expenses and cancelled every little luxury I had. But no matter what I do, this job just doesn't pay enough. <sighs> Sometimes it feels like the world is stacked against us. But you have got to hold on to whatever hope you can find. You are not alone in this, even if it feels that way. Hope? It's hard to have hope when you're barely scraping by. Listen Wajak, you must find something to fight for, something that keeps you going. Yeah, I have got my mom to fight for. But it's so damn hard to see a way out of this. That's the way I live my life, girls. Huh? Chat, I heard his voice from somewhere. Yeah, he is behind you. Look over there. Ah <laughs> So I closed a huge deal at work last week, and my boss was so impressed, he gave me a massive bonus. Not to mention the perks of the job are out of the world. Travels, luxury hotels, parties, and much more. Wow, that sounds amazing. You must be really good at what you do. <laughs> yeah, boy. Of course, and I am really good at bed too. <laughs> Tell us more. What exactly do you do? I work in finance. High stakes, big rewards. You know how it is. It's all about being in the right place at the right time and knowing how to play the game. Bah. Look at him, basking in his own arrogance. Throwing money around like it's nothing, impressing everyone with his flashy stories. Meanwhile, I am struggling to keep my head above water. Life is not just fair. You know it's not just about the money, it's the lifestyle. The freedom to do what I want, when I want. And trust me, it's a pretty sweet deal. I bet. You have the most amazing life. Yeah, every girl wants to be with a rich handsome guy like you. <laughs> yeah boy. What's wrong with me? I am working myself to the bone and I still can't catch a break. <laughs> now it's enough. One day, things will change. Bruh. I will make sure of it, I just need to keep pushing, keep fighting. This won't be my life forever. It will be something else. I will have my own private jet, ship, hotels. But first, pay the bill for your drink Wajak. Bruh. Wajak, how are we going to cover these expenses? Your mother's surgery needs so much money, I don't know how we are going to do this. I have been looking at what we can sell, but even then, it's not nearly enough. We can't lose mom because we can't afford surgery big bro. There has to be something we can do. I am barely scraping by with this underpaid job. I am applying for financial aid, but it's going to take time and we don't have that luxury. Huh? I have already got my credit card bill and loan bill. Then we might look into another loan. But I am worried about the interest rates. We could end up in debt for the rest of our lives. Don't worry I will figure out something else. I can't let mom suffer because we don't have enough money. Huh? 
Who is it? I hope it's not the landlord again. Whoa, Jack, I need to talk to you now. Mr. Smith, what's going on? Why are you here? I am here because you are three months behind on rent and I have been more than patient. But enough is enough. Please Smith uncle, we just need a little more time. Our mom is in the hospital and we are trying to figure out how to pay for her surgery. And we are not freeloaders. We are going through a tough time. We have always paid you on time before. Can't you show some compassion? Compassion doesn't pay the bills Wojak. <coughs> I run a business, not a charity. But listen to me please. Shut up. This is the real world and if you can't keep up, you get left behind. I am done waiting. Come on boys, throw them away. Oh no! Where are we supposed to go? We have nowhere else. Maybe. We can stay here for some time. I am sorry dad, it's all because of me. Don't speak like this son, we will get through this together. Yeah bro. Arrange money for mom's surgery and we will go out for food. Arranging money for surgery. In that case, I have only one last solution left for my problem. I am ready to work for you but please do something for my mom's surgery. Bogdanov. Excellent. Vojak, you piece of trash. I pity you. Now about your mom's operation. Shall we begin? <laughs> <laughs>